Here's how you can add this cool looking ink stamp effect to your designs in Kittle. So let's say I'm in Kittle and I have this bird illustration like I have right here. The first thing that I'm going to do is click on this and then go over and add a drop shadow to it and change the color to white to match my illustration. And then I'm going to bring the blur down somewhere around five or six. Next I'm going to go into my photos panel and just type in texture. Scroll down until I find something I like. I found a lot of success with this texture right here. So I'm going to go over here and change the blending mode to overlay. And if I zoom in, you can see that that texture is starting to catch some of that blur. Now the only thing that I need to do is make sure that my texture fills my entire canvas, especially over top of my illustration. And another thing that I like to do sometimes is copy and paste that texture to make the effect a little bit more intense. You can even go and click on your illustration and play with the blur to adjust how much of this effect that you want it and how far you want it to expand out. If you have not used Kittle yet, it is free to sign up and try out for yourself. If this tutorial was helpful, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Check our pinned comment to see if we're running any promotions right now. It could be something like 50% off your first month or even off a whole year of Kittle. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any Kittle related content and design tutorials. Happy designing and we will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.